Hello friends. In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on the measurement of frequency using Venn's bridge. So let us start with our problem. So our problem is we are given the arms of a forearm bridge ABCD which is supplied with the sinusoidal voltage and the four arms are having the following values. Arm AB it's a resistance of 200 ohms in parallel with the capacitance 1 microfarad. Arm BC is a 400 ohm resistance. Arm CD is a 1000 ohm resistance. Arm DA it is a resistance R2 which is connected in series with a 2 microfarad of capacitance. Now we have to determine the value of this R2 resistance and the frequency at which the bridge is balanced. Now as this bridge is used to measure the frequency so it's clear that it's the Wayans bridge because Wayans bridge is the only bridge AC bridge which is used for the measurement of frequency. So first of all we will draw the circuit for the Wayans bridge and then we will derive the equation for the resistance R2 and then calculate its value. So arm AB it's a resistance connected in parallel with the capacitor. Arm AD, it's a resistance R2 which is in series with the capacitor. Then we are having arm BC which is a resistance and arm CD is also a resistance. Now here AC voltage sources are uh, applied between the points A and C. So this AC voltage source it is working at some frequency. So we have to determine that frequency here. This is C1, R1, this is R3, R2, C2 and this is R4. Now when an alternating current bridge it is under balance condition so for uh, that we have a general balance equation for the AC bridges and that balance equation is Z1 Z4 equals to Z2 Z3 okay. So using this equation we are going to find out the value of the resistance R2. Now talking about the impedances Z1 is equal to the parallel combination of R1 and C1. So it will be R1 upon 1 plus J omega C1 R1. Z2 will be the series combination of R2 and C2. So it will be R2 plus 1 upon J omega C2. Z3 is R3 
and Z4 is R4. This is, we have written the parallel combination of R and C. When R and C are in parallel combination, then 1 by Z is equal to 1 by R plus 1 by XC. Xc is what? The capacitive reactance. So Xc is equals to 1 upon j omega c. So putting its value here, 1 by z is equal to 1 by r plus j omega c. So 1 by z is equal to 1 plus j omega c r upon r. So z will be equal to r upon 1 plus j omega c r. So that is the parallel combination of r1 and c1. Now putting the values of these four impedances in this balance equation, we will get Z1 is R1 upon 1 plus J omega C1 R1 multiplied with Z4 which is R4. Then R2 is, uh, Z2 is R2 plus 1 upon J omega C2 multiplied with R3. Now solving this we will get R1 R4 upon 1 plus J omega C1 R1 equals to R2 R3 plus R3 upon J omega C2. Now cross multiplying this we will get R1 R4 and this J omega C2 it will be multiplied here. So R1 R4 j omega c2 equals to r2 r3 j omega c2 plus r3 multiplied with 1 plus j omega c1 r1 we are getting r1 r4 j omega c2 this will be multiplied so it will be j omega c2 r2 r3 plus R3 plus J omega and J omega multiplied with each other. So J, uh, J square will be minus 1 and then we will have omega square and C1, R1, R2, C2, R3. Okay. Now in this equation we are having real parts also and imaginary parts also. Okay, so we are going to separate the real parts and the imaginary parts and we will get the value of R2 as R4 upon R3 minus C1 upon C2 multiplied with R1. Okay, because real parts are what R3 and this term are having the real parts and these two terms are having the imaginary parts. So from this if we take out the value of R2 it will be J omega J omega cancelled. So R4 upon R3 minus C1 upon C2 multiplied with R1. Okay. Now. In this equation, if we put the value of these variables, we will get the value of R2 as here R4. R4 is given to us in the question. It is 1000 ohms resistance. Then the value of R3, it is also given to us as 400 ohms resistance. Then minus C1 is 1 microfarad and C2 is 2 microfarad. So when we are converting microfarads into farad it will be we have to multiply it with 10 raised to the power minus 6. So this is also multiplied with 10 raised to the power minus 6. This is also multiplied with 10 raised to the power minus 6. So both will be cancelled and then multiplying it with the R1 that is 200. So when we solve this we will get R2 equals to this will be 400 ohms. Okay. So value of the unknown resistance R2 we have calculated here. Now we have to calculate the frequency. So for frequency we have the formula 1 upon 2 pi from this uh, 
real parts and imaginary parts equation when we are equating it we will get the value of f as 2 pi under root of r1 r2 c1 c2 so putting the value of all the variables here R1 is 200, R2 is 400, we have calculated it. C1 is 1 microfarad and C2 is 2 microfarads. So 1 microfarad means 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 and 2 microfarad means 2 into 10 raised to the power minus 6. So when we solve this, we will get our frequency as 398 hertz. So in this way, the frequency can be measured using the Wayne's bridge. In Wayne's bridge, we have a parallel combination and a series combination of a resistor and a capacitor. So AB is having the parallel combination and AD is having the series combination. So we can directly use the equations for, for the Wayne's bridge if we remember them. If we, uh, if we are not remembering those equations, then we can derive that equations using this balance equation Z1, Z4 equals to Z2, Z3. Okay. So here we have got the value of the unknown resistance as 400 ohms and of the frequency as 398 hertz. So I hope that this problem is clear to you. Thank you.